In this video, an AT24C256 EEPROM is serially interfaced with Arduino and is used to control the motion of a servo motor. The AT24C256 is a two-wire serial EEPROM of size 256 kilobits or 32 kilobytes. This EEPROM is connected to a microcontroller using I2C interface. This is the module used in this project that contains the EEPROM chip. And this here is the pinouts of the module. We have VCC, serial clock, serial data, and ground. And the jumpers here determine, first of all, it determines the uh, I2C address of the uh, EEPROM and in this case it's hexadecimal 50 and here the write protect uh, has been grounded so that we can uh, read and write into the uh, EEPROM chip. Let's have a look at the components used in this project. We have the EEPROM uh, module connected to the Arduino using I2C interface through analog lines A4 and A5. We also have a servo motor connected to the Arduino through digital pin D9. A potentiometer is also connected to analog line A3 and two LEDs connected to two digital pins of the Arduino. The circuit operates in two modes record mode and playback mode. In the record mode the red LED turns on and the user changes the pot value which in turn is translated into angular positions between 0 and 180 degrees. These angular positions are then sent to the servo motor and at the same time they are stored in 500 memory locations of the EEPROM. When recording is done, playback begins and the blue LED turns on and the stored angular positions are sent again to the servo motor to replay the 500 angular positions. Now for a quick demonstration. During the record mode, we change the potentiometer value, noting the motion of the servo motor. 500 angular positions will be stored in the EEPROM. Now playback begins and the recorded positions are played again. Let's have a look at the C++ code used in this project. So we have uh, two header files. This header file is for I2C communication and this is for communicating with the servo motor. And for the macros, we have this macro uh, for the EEPROM, which tells us that the address of the EEPROM is hexadecimal 50. And we have some macros for the peripherals, for the potentiometer. We have uh, connected to analog uh, pin 3. And for the two LEDs, one connected to digital pin 2 and the other digital pin 6. Now for the global variables, this variable will be used to store the value coming from the potentiometer. This variable will be used to store the value read from the EEPROM. And this variable will be used to store the number of memory locations used in the, of the EEPROM. And here we create a uh, pointer called MyServo related to the servo motor. In the setup function, we start the I2C communication. We tell the my server uh, object where the server is attached, and in this case, it's pin 9. And then we determine the pin modes of the two LEDs, and then we start the recording. We turn on the record LED, and then we loop 500 times to cover the 500 memory locations of the EEPROM. Inside the loop, we first read the potentiometer value and then convert it to angular positions between 0 and 180 degrees. We send the angular position to the uh, servo motor. We apply some delay. 
and then we call a function called e from right and uh, send to that function the uh, the angular position and the e prom address and this continues this loop continues for 500 uh, iterations and then when it is done it means we have stored all of the angular positions in the 500 memory locations so the next step would be to uh, turn off the record LED and then apply some delay 3 seconds delay inside the loop function we will start playback by turning on the play LED and then looping uh, 500 times to cover the 500 memory locations of the EEPROM here we will read the uh, angular position value stored in the uh, uh, EEPROM by calling this function EEPROM read and then we will send this uh, angular position to the server motor apply some delay and this continues for 500 times and then when the playback ends we will turn off the play LED apply a delay of uh, 3 seconds and continue the the playback process finally we have the functions used in the code we have this uh, EEPROM write uh, function which will write to one memory location of the EEPROM and we have this uh, function EEPROM read which will read from one memory location of the EEPROM having external storage for your Arduino projects is very useful especially in data acquisition applications in a future video the AT24C256 will be used to store temperature and humidity values from a digital sensor